Hi, and welcome to the show. Now, there are a few manufacturers we've spoken to over the last year that have responded particularly well to the needs of our new normal, with remote production being here to stay for the foreseeable future. Yeah, portability, miniaturization, some plates, some cases, connectivity, and technical collaboration has been a growing trend within the successful manufacturers out there. So we spotted some new cameras coming in from Marshall and some technology that they've adopted. We wanted to have a bit of a chat. So welcome back, Todd, from sunny California. Tell us a bit more about the new Genlock cameras. I think there are uh, global shutter versions and standard versions. Tell us a bit more. Right. So we, uh, uh, within a year, we, we refreshed our whole line of POV cameras. Uh, and primarily, historically, we've used uh, a rolling shutter solution for CMOS to hit a price point, right? Because mm -hmm. it's all a matter of, uh, mm -hmm. of, of price of, of components and market uh, targets. So uh, recently, the, the cost of global shutter has come down. Um, we think we can fit it within our line at an affordable price point. So we'll be introducing what we call our CV568 uh, model, which is uh, a one over 1.8 inch uh, sensor, a uh, global shutter. So in those fast paced uh, cool. or, or, or the light challenging uh, light environments, uh, yeah. global shutters uh, uh, do perform better. We've really tweaked the CMOS rolling shutters and, 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 and react very well in, in very fast paced action. Uh, but we believe uh, adding a global shutter option under $1,200 US is gonna be a great add to our, uh, to our line. So, Todd, we know you're already in the um, NDI HX space with your cameras, and now uh, we understand you're looking to move into high bandwidth NDI. Can you um, tell us a little bit about a bit about thinking behind that? Sure. So, uh, we've been in uh, in NDI with the NDI HX uh, capability uh, for several years now. Uh, we reintroduced our NDI HX. Essentially, for every IP camera we have, we have a standard IP version, and that would incorporate uh, secure, reliable network as well as HEVC, but we also have an NDI uh, version. And, and currently, all those versions are uh, the NDI HX uh, variation of the new Tech mm. NDI platform. Um, NDI obviously is very useful for easy discoverable over network. Uh, it's, it's lossless, it's low latency. Um, we we, we, the line is very, very successful for us. So we decided to move into the high bandwidth version, which is a little bit, like you said, uh, there's not a whole lot of players in high bandwidth. And we, we, we see the success with NDI and incorporation with NDI workflow to be a, uh, a, definitely a future for Marshall. So we're incorporating the high bandwidth as well. And that'll be released uh, later this year, uh, which will include high bandwidth uh, NDI as well as NDI HX and simultaneous outputs for 12G SDI, uh, HDMI, and USB. So very versatile uh, workflow capability. So we spoke with, with, with BI Remote last year, who you successfully collaborated with to produce possibly the smallest remote head and camera on the, on the market. Have you, right. have, you, um, have you embarked on any other collaborations recently since, since we last spoke to you? Uh, we have. And, and, and the... And the the PT head uh, that you're talking about, uh, designed by BR Remote, has Very been a cool. great uh, collaboration. Um, the whole idea between between uh, us and the marketplace is I, I want to make things more uh, compatible. I want to make them easier to control in PT uh, form, uh, as well as control sources. So we're also working with Zion View. I'm sure you guys are familiar with those guys over there. Very professional group of engineers. Uh, making controlled PTZ joysticks, uh, control boards, and, uh, yeah. and we're working very closely with them to make sure that their platform can easily control our fixed POV cameras uh, if you're adjusting for white balance, black levels, um, and then our, our zoom cameras, as you see here, the CV355 10X, and then 18X and 4K. Mm -hmm. uh, if we want that zoom and focus uh, control capability from the Zion View platform, um, all the way up to the PTZ. So, um, you know, the, the more uh, uh, compatible our products are with a variety of control sources, uh, we believe is is only beneficial and, and will take out the headaches for engineers using our products. Yeah. Absolutely. What about software integration then, software ability? People like, you know, 
we use vmix for example or obs or anything like that people are you know looking at these affordable uh, obviously solutions. vmix is growing quite a bit and, and especially uh during COVID, right um so we uh we are collaborating with them i just sent them uh, an assort assortment of samples down to australia to take a look at and to make sure that control is compatible and, it, and it's uh easily integratable into that platform yeah, I'm sure that'll be something we'll be we'll be following up as well as we go forward. Todd, it's always great to catch up. You've always got something uh, good to say, and and we do obviously love working with our fleet of CV five hundred threes here. Thanks for joining us, Todd, okay. and thanks for watching, everybody. Um, thanks to Media Proxy as well for supporting the show. You can check them out at mediaproxy.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.